Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new to this channel, my name is Amra and this is Amra's Beauty Blog. I'm a freelance makeup artist with a passion for all things beauty. If you're a subscriber, then a welcome return. If you like this video, then please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for weekly uploads. So we are finally on to the last quad from James Malloy and his collaboration with Beauty Pie. This is 003 and I believe this is described as gold. So I am very, very excited because it has some beautiful colours in here and I'm really excited to see what kind of look I can come up with. So you get the leaflet in here just like all the other ones and I'll show you this up close. This is how it looks. So these are the colours and aren't they gorgeous? Neutral palette, reminds me a little bit of the Tom Ford stuff I've just reviewed. In fact, the previous palette, which was rose gold, reminds me a little bit of Tom Ford as well, just because of the sort of colour story. But I am very, very excited to see how this pans out. So we get two mattes, we get a lightweight shimmery topper shade, and we also get a frosted shade as well. I will just show you the colours up close. This one's called 009, which is a velvety matte tone. This one is called 010, which is a lightweight super shimmery topper. This one is 011, which is the frosted shade, and this is to add a richly pigmented dose of colour to the centre of the lids. And then finally, this is 012, which can be used to smoke out the eyes and it can be pressed along the liner as a liner. We could just do some arm swatches of these. So we've got the first colour, which is the matte. Then we have the highlighter shade. Then we have the lovely sort of, oh, look at that gorgeous shade and then finally that darker matte shade it's giving me coco mirage vibes definitely and we're going to go in with my sonia g worker 3 brush and we're going to first of all hit that beautiful matte shade James describes this one as 009. Let's pat that shade all over the lid. This is how it looks. It's definitely the closest shade to my actual skin colour. Very, very nice. I like that colour, nice neutral colour great transition colour. So we're going to move on to this one which is the deepest matte shade in 012 and I'm going to take my Lisa Eldridge brush and I'm going to go in, pat that in and we're going to put that on the outer V. They are very beautiful together, they blend really lovely. So I'm just going to take my brush and just Go into the crease with this and just blend the two colours. Very nice. I do like this. It's very neutral, but a very everyday kind of look. Love it. Now we're going to take my Lisa Eldridge brush and we're going to dip into that matte colour again. My lovely tipped pointed brush and we're just going to put that at the bottom, take the colour and just put it as a liner, take the colour again, halfway through, just like that, and then we're going to take the colour, use that as a liner again, just to deepen it and make it look really, really nice and rich. We're going to go in now with that lovely shimmer shade which is like a highlighter shade this one is the topper shade it's the 010 lisa eldridge brush again and we're just going to go on the inner corner oh that's not what i thought in the pan it kind of looks white but when you put it on your eyes it looks a bit gold which is really lovely maybe it's gold and i just can't tell <laughs> in there the pan you can't really tell that it's going to be gold that's a nice surprise. So that's why it's called the gold palette. Makes complete sense. So I've put that on the inner corner 
of my eyes and very pretty, very pretty. Nice surprise. And then we're gonna just go just at the top on my brow bone, just there, just to get some highlight going on. I'm gonna take that color and just put it on my cupid's bow. Now you can do this with all the other shadows. I forgot to do that for the other shadows, but you can do that. And then sometimes I just like to take the color and just put that on the tip of my nose and just spread it out a bit because we don't want it all to concentrate in one area, but just to give it a little bit of something, something. Very, very lovely. And now we're going to go into that gorgeous shade here, which is that last one. And James calls that the frosted shade. So this is gonna add that richness to my lid. And we're gonna take my Worker 3 brush again. And we're gonna go into that gorgeous color. Just put that on my eyes just there. We'll do the same on the other side. I just wanted to tell you that these colors really work really well together. They blend really well, but they also are very cohesive. So you're not gonna go wrong with whatever you decide to do. I mean, I'm just showing you how I would use it like that. And then what I'll do is I'll just take my blender brush and just blend it out around the edges. Honestly, like you can do whatever you feel works. But for me, I really like that. That's very, very pretty. Okay, so I have just gone away and I've added some mascara and I've added some lip product. This is another thing that I'm not going to tell you about because I want you to watch the video. <laughs> I don't want to spoil it for you. I think this matches the look really, really well. Um, we're going to use the Beauty Pie colour in the colour Fresh Face because this is quite a neutral look, I would say. So I'm taking the colour Fresh Face. That's what Fresh Face looks like. Kind of corally light kind of barely there, but really beautiful. Let's just swatch the Fresh Face Super Cheek. So this is what it looks like. So let's put Fresh Face on. Again, I'm gonna use my fingers. That's what the pigment looks like. And we're just gonna dab it on. And I'm using this blush because it's not like a strong look. It's a kind of everyday look. So I don't want to go too much on the blush. Just treat it as a kind of everyday blush. And yeah, this just gives me that little bit of flush that I need. And that's perfect. Very, very light a light hint but really pretty as well. So this is the third eye quad. So that is the final eye quad. I am so, so happy with the look. I knew that I was gonna like all three eye quads. I didn't want to miss out because these are limited editions. So please, please, if you do want them, please use my affiliated link and go and get them. If you are a member, like I said, you're making a huge saving. So what normally is about 40 pounds, you're gonna get for 14 pounds. So three palettes for the price of one. That is what you're paying. So if you're a Beauty Pie member, go and get it. 
it is limited edition and you will not be disappointed i absolutely love it i think all three looks are different and offer something different i'm not saying get all three but i enjoyed using all three so those are my thoughts i love this shade i love the fact that it's very neutral and natural something that i could wear every day I would love to hear your opinion on the three quads now that you've probably seen all three videos. Which one do you prefer? And hear your comments and whether you're going to be picking any of these up. So please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Thank you.